Hello friends, this is Sandeep and, uh, and today I'm, I'm, I come with a new topic here that how you can transfer files between your Windows and your Mac computer. So it's very easy, it can be done within next 5 steps easily. So just to make sure there is just one condition for this uh, you know, task that uh, your both Mac and Windows computers are connected in the same network while you are doing this process. So make sure that your both computers are connected on the same network. So let's for instance, I'm just taking my one of my Windows computer, which is HP Pavilion X360 convertible, which has the latest Windows 10 uh, with the you know version 21 H2. And on the other hand, I have a MacBook Air here with me, and which has the latest you know Mac OS Monterey with version 12.3.1. So we'll start begin with this and we'll help you we'll show you that how you can you know share your files and folders or data transfer between your mac and windows computers at the same time if you would like to know more and if you'd like to get you know more details on this you have to just go to the description of this video and you will see there is a link of an article we have written an article already on it so you can just follow that article and you will get step by step with images over there I hope that will be helpful for you so let's begin here okay the step one the step one is to set up file sharing on Mac OS so let's enable the file sharing option on your Mac computer so in order to do this we have to access the system preferences so go to the left hand top side where you can see the Apple logo click on it go to system preferences now here we need to look for the option or folder sharing and uh, here it is click on it once you open up the sharing option you will see here the file sharing is off by default it's off so we need to make it enable and to do this uh, from the left hand panel click here checkbox file sharing it is checked and now you can see it's green and it says on now in additionally we have to go here in this options menu and make sure this checkbox is checked which says share files and folders using SMB option it should be checked and then your account should be checked so once both are checked so just click on done and uh, just close this window or you know for the sharing option so now here we have successfully shared uh, enabled the sharing option from the Mac computer now let's go to the next step PC guide for you is here to help you with your issues for more updates subscribe now all right step two we need to turn on file sharing on your Windows PC so to do this we need to go to the start menu click on it and uh, navigate to the settings click settings button now here we need to look for network and internet click on it then go to network and sharing center here it is click on it so change advanced advanced sharing settings click on it now here what we have to do in this place make sure that the network discovery is turned on this radio button should be checked and this checkbox should be check marked which says turn on automatic setup for your network connected devices additionally make sure that file and printer sharing is also turned on so this button should be turned on the way you can see on my screen should be turned on once you are done with this click on save settings by doing this we have successfully enabled you know sharing option from your Windows computer so you can close this window now okay step 3 the step 3 is to create a share folder on your Windows computer or if you would like to share any existing folder from your Windows you can do that so I'll take an example I'll create a new folder on my desktop screen here so I'll do a right click I'll go to new and I'll choose a folder I'll provide a name here mm, share Windows to Mac so this will be my folder name so once the folder is created or if you're using any existing folder just do a right click on it 
go to properties now here go to the sharing menu or button here click on it all right now go to the advanced settings here click and advanced settings now you need to check mark this box which says share this folder and the name is the same that we provided on the folder go to the permissions and it says everyone that's fine provide a full control here check this box apply okay then again apply okay here and go here then after click on this share button I will ask you some options here I'll provide to everyone here choose the everyone and click add now here you can see it says only read only permissions so I'll provide an access because I'm the person who's gonna access from my Mac as well so I'll give a permission for read and write and click share once you click on done we have successfully shared this folder from our windows to the network close this way pc guide for you is here to help you with your issues for more updates subscribe now step 4 find your windows computer ip address so to find your computer ip address i'll use a shortcut here so you can use the same press windows and r a combination from your keyboard and type here cmd we'll open up the command prompt window click ok in here just type the command which says ipconfig once you type it press enter and it will give you the IP addresses uh, for your computer for this Windows machine make sure that if you're connected with the Ethernet adapter like a LAN cable so you must be using a LAN IP address in my case I'm using the Wi-Fi connection I'm connected through a wireless connection so I'll use my Wi-Fi address which is this so I'll copy and I'll keep it with me somewhere in a piece of paper so I should remember that IP address so this is how you can get your computer IP address we'll just check on next step now all right final step step 5 connect to Windows computer from your Mac via SND option on your Mac so to do this go to the finder and uh, there is a menu go click on the go button and use the option connect to server or you can use the shortcut button command K click on it and you will see a connect to server option is here on your screen and here in this place you have to you know type your windows IP address if you remember in our previous step we have taken an IP address of the Windows computer so you have to type in exactly in this format smb colon forward slash and forward slash then the Windows IP address once you type the IP address click connect and then wait for a while and now here you can see that uh, we have option here share windows to Mac the folder that we created in our previous step on Windows machine and even though we have an option of to access all the user you know files that is required it depends on you if you would like to access or not so I'll, I'll just use this option which says share window to Mac folder because I would like to access this folder click OK and here we go you can see here it's there and uh, now we can see that uh, drive is here created and should be created on a desktop as well you can see a drive is created to access that folder and it's it is blank at the moment because there is no data on it so just for an example let me just put some data from my windows machine and uh, you can see that right away it will be uh, it can be seen here in this folder just wait for a moment let me just copy some data on my windows folder I'm just posting some images over there on that folder so let's see and here we go all right you can see here the moment I pasted some data uh, on that uh, folder that we have shared from Windows machine it is accessible here 
you can copy and move anywhere on your Mac machine wherever you want and depends and uh, just one last thing I would like to inform you which is very important that you can drop any file or folder here from your Mac and it can be accessed to your Windows PC or you can drop any file or folder from your Windows computer in that shared folder and it can be accessed from your Mac computer so this is how you can share files and folders over the network from your Windows to Mac or your Windows or from your Mac to Windows I hope you like this video and it will be helpful to you thank you so much for watching your wonderful day bye bye